Welcome back. So, in the last video, I mixed up this big crazy recipe with Steve Solomon. And in the comments, Scott Head said, Are you going to do a side by side? Like I don't trust Steve. But I will because Scott said he wanted to see that. So I have these multiplier onions here old variety of, of onion and the bed that we fertilized and I dug in with Steve's special recipe soil remineralizer is right here and this entire thing was planted with multiplier onions yesterday so today this section here is going to be planted with multiplier onions and we are not going to amend it we're just gonna leave them in this bad soil and we'll see what happens. So here are the multiplier onions and to plant these, I'm just going to break them up. Now I must confess, I have planted green onions before, but I have never planted this particular variety of multiplier onions. But these grew right around here. A local farmer grew them and put them up for sale for six bucks for a bag big enough to plant like pff, probably 200 square feet of the things. Uh, for six bucks so I said oh man I gotta grow those and uh, the aroma of them is excellent they smell really nice and oniony so I'm gonna plant these and I'm gonna do a, uh, a triple row just like I did in the other bed bury them a little bit in there and just go on down about a foot apart You can see they're starting to sprout already. And then what I do is I do the next, through the middle here, and then it's roughly, roughly a foot apart. Trust me, the plants are not as neurotic as we are. They don't know that they were planted exactly at one foot or whatever. For our next experiment, these are two beds in which I scattered a whole bunch of things. This has peas and radishes and clover and beans and other stuff. It's all scattered in here. Some lettuces. This one I'm going to leave alone. This one is getting Steve's special mix here. So hold your breath. It's going to get dusty. Now this is not the way you're supposed to do this. You know, Steve told me to fork it in, but it's too late. So we're doing science in a little more haphazard way, but it should have been forked in first. Plus we're getting a little dust on the bed, this other bed. So it's getting at least a little bit of the benefits of this mix. But because I put it on I dusted all the plants like this. I'm gonna have to water it really good to make sure that nothing burns it. You don't like super lime the plants. And I didn't put a full bed application on here, but that's enough for science. I'm gonna use this stuff over most of the rest of my garden, um, but we will have a little bit of side by side. Cause I know this soil is bad and I actually wanna grow a bunch of vegetables. So this is going on most everything, but for the sake of YouTube and science and all that jazz, we're doing a little bit here. Now I'm gonna soak it in, and I'm also gonna soak this bed too so it doesn't look like I'm showing favoritism. Thank you. 
So there we go. Side by side, we've got some onions, and then we've got beds just filled with a complete mess of stuff. And so, Scott, I hope that gives you an idea. And for everybody else, this is the kind of fun thing that you can do in your garden. Set a little extra space aside, try some different seeds, try a different fertilizer, try all kinds of different stuff. Try some no-till gardening next to some tilled gardening with all kinds of cool things in it. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. There's many, many ways to garden. The important thing is that you're growing your own food and it's gonna be way healthier than anything you can get from the store. So stay with me, be sure to subscribe and then you can keep track of this because over the fall, we're going to see some differences in these beds, I think, and it's gonna be very interesting to find out how it works. So thanks for joining me and until next time, may your thumbs always be green. Bury my rabbit beneath the cherry tree one fine afternoon Someday I know that we'll meet again On a fruit salad spoon Oh! You did that on purpose! <laughs>